Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing for the WTCR series on GT Sport. This is round 7, race 2 now here at Suzuka. Neil Farmack on pole with maximum ballast on, remember? So here's the grid. So Neil Farmack maximum ballast on the mediums and so is Seek 1. So all the guys from last time running on who've got weight on the cars are on medium tyres. So it's Neil from Seek, Callum, Nick Hash, and then Firepower, fifth place with 40 kilos on. Sixth place is Bidster with no weight on that car now. That car is weight free and it's got super softs on. So watch out for Bidster coming through the pack in this one. Stacker on, on mediums in seventh place there, getting those tyres out of the way. Rodder's eighth, Tass one ninth on the super softs. So is uh, TY on the super softs as well. TY's back for this one and also uh, techno as well, but unfortunately techno struggling with the connection issues in this uh, in this one with the uh, with the Gran Turismo. I keep you on the start line glitch, so unfortunately for him. So let's start off then and see who makes the best start here at Suzuka as we wait for the revs to rise. So the lights are on, revs are rising. There's the rest of the grid there. There's Neil Farmack, and we're off. Callum gets a good start in the Mazda, going straight through, and so does Firepower in the Subaru as well. He's off like a stabbed rat also. Down towards the first corner, then it's Seek one in the lead from Callum. Then it's Neil getting sh shuffled back and almost onto the after turf, and Nick Hash goes straight off. He must have got touched there by someone. And then everyone else through. There's the Lexus of Rodders. Bid's doing fifth place. Tass one in sixth as Rodders goes over the curb, bids to harassing him from behind. There's T.Y. He's back in this one. He's running. He gets to run his special event liveries in this one because he didn't get to do it earlier on in the season. Because unfortunately, he missed it because of work. But now look at ta Task one right round the outside of Bids to have that sunshine. Straight round the outside and up the hill. Up down towards the Degners. So it's Seek one in the lead then for being harassed by Callum. Callum's been har uh, harassing seat one, then we've got everyone else going into the second Degner as bids up the inside of Rodders there, trying to get more positions. So Rodder, oh, Rodders, or Rodders trying to go around Bidster. In onto the inside, Rodders goes into the hairpin. Bidster tries to keep around the outside and get the power onto you. I'm looking for a little sneak up the inside, but no way through. And then Bidster gets the power on. And there's no weight in that Scirocco now and he's on super uh, he's on the racing super soft tyre so watch him go forwards in this one as then seat one now under pressure from Callum in second place gives him a little tap onto the curb but gets away with it up the inside again into the second part of spoon curve Neil Farmack getting passed by Tass one who was right up on the curb there as well Biz looking for a way through in this as well tries to go for the outside Biz is on the outside Neil Farmack comes across puts him on the grass but Bidster making his own uh, demons there. And there's Tax One now looking to go up the inside into 130R. This guy's mad. Up the inside into 130R he goes. And then down towards the chicane. TY gets through past Bidster. And now he's going to get past other cars as well. Brilliant racing here. As it's Neil from Task and TY and Bidster side by side through the chicane. Hip wang wallop. Have that. Rodders says thank you, boys. I'll now join in on this action. As we go down the straight, Rodders. Pulls alongside the Scirocco is now Tass 1 going for Neil again. Tass 1 in the Subaru going for Neil. Callum going for Seek as well. Tass 1 up the inside, bails out of it. Neil Farman goes wide onto the after turf though and Tass 1 goes straight through. T.Y. now up the inside of Neil Farman to take advantage and Bids is going to try and do the same here. To, but Neil's not giving up and Bids is around the outside of Neil Farman there and he's going to go through into 6th place. Yes he does. So into 5th. Into fifth place he goes. And now we look at the front. Seat one's from Callum still, very close. Then we've got T.Y. Bidster. Then we've got Neil being pressured by Rodders now. So Neil, with the weight on that car, finally taking its toll down to sixth place. Obviously the weight not as bad around here as it was around into Largos last time. That was really bad. But uh, still, what, 200 kilos, 200 kilos as seat one tries to break on the after turf. Slides that BMW into the second egg there and just about gets through. But uh, Tass 1 now challenging Callum on the outside for the hairpin. Callum on the inside. Callum stays on the inside. Tass 1 trying to turn in on him there. Callum has got to, you've got to leave Callum a bit of room to turn in. There's TY and Bids to come through as well to try and catch up as well. So we look back to the leaders then. They are side by side coming down here. Tass 1's in front of Seek. The Tass 1 gets Seek there. Must have got a good run out the corner. Tass 1 ahead of Seek 1 then. So Tass 1 leads the race. Seek 1 second. Subaru, BMW, Mazda, BMW, Scirocco, up the inside, 
off T.Y. Bids up the inside on the kerbs, but no way through there. T.Y. gets the power on out of the corner and goes round him. And then we've got Neil Farmack being harassed by Rodders and then Nick Hash on his own, stacker from Firepower at the back. And we go up to 130 yard, then all these boys are trying to go through side by side. Carl up the inside, Bids to try to go up the inside of T.Y. as well, goes rally crossing out wide on 130 yard. So T.Y. goes wide. Bidster and Callum go through as Carl Bidster now harassing Callum and Callum trying to get through past that BMW. And, that, and through all this, Tass 1 is actually pulling away. As Bidster now comes across the line side by side with Callum and gets through past Callum, tries to go for a gap, bang! Hits Callum in the side, but uh, I don't think that's going to do any difference anyway because Bidster was already ahead with the draft. So Bidster stays in third position, Callum in fourth. And then up the inside goes Bidster on, on seek one. And he gets the place, so Bidster into second place then. Now he's going to be chasing Tass one there, who's going through. And the Tass one with uh, not much weight on the car in this one either, so hardly any weight, so both them cars really liked. Bidster coming through then, and then we've got Cal uh, Callum being harassed by the second Jägermeister car of T.Y. As we go through to Spoon Kerr, oh, sorry, to uh, the Degners. As Callum goes wide onto the Astro Turf, tries to get the car stopped. And where's Seat One gone? He's off! They're in the gravel! As the Seat One makes some kind of mistake there and goes off into the kitty litter, spreading it everywhere. So, Seat One back down to seventh, it might even be eighth place. So, unlucky there for Seat One. As Stacker comes up to try and pass him now, but no way through. Is he going to go for the inside? No. So seat one all the way back down to eighth place then, so we'll get a replay on that. Okay, here's a replay of what happened to seat one then on lap three. So coming into the deck, into the first Degner, goes in, carries too much speed, rear wheel hits the Astro Turf, you see there, and then just loses control of the car, absolute fishtail, and then just about sensibly goes back towards the gravel to rejoin, just to make sure he's not going onto the track on the racing line, and then sensibly rejoins the track. And just as we come back from that replay then, Bidster is in the lead, so we'll just get a replay on how that switched as well. Okay, here's a replay of how Bidster got the lead then, so you see seat one go off in the background there, and then as we come up to the hairpin, Bidster closes right upon Tass one here, Tass one goes very wide and then Bidster just goes straight to the inside, and Tass one goes onto the grass a bit, and then that's all Bidster needs to go straight in front of Tass one and take the lead. So as we come back from that then, Bidster in the lead of the race then from Task 1 in the Subaru. So Bidster from Task 1, then it's T.Y. in third. Callum fourth and now Rodders has joined in the fun. Rodders has come up in the, in the Lexus and look at the overspeed he's got in that thing. No weight on the car. And now he's going to try and go straight around the outside of Callum before we get to 130R and he does. So Callum falls back to fifth place. That's good news for Bidster but it's not good news because he's fighting back. Rodders up the inside then, Callum goes right around the outside of the Lexus into the corner. Brave stuff there from Callum, but Rodders clearly not as comfy on the brakes as Callum is. And Callum goes straight through. So then we've got Neil Farmack 6th, Firepower 7th, Stacker in 8th now, so seat one back down to 9th place there. And then Nick Hash unfortunately 10th, right at the back after that incident earlier. So Nick Hash go, falls to the back of the grid. So there's Bidster then. 2 minutes 7.0, including the overtake, 208.7 for Tass. So he's about a second and a half up on Tass there. There's TY now coming up to play with with um, with Task. 208.2 last time. So TY's closing in. There's Callum in the Mazda, followed by Rodders in the Lexus. There is the tied Lexus. Neil Farmack with all that weight on in sixth place, not doing too bad here to say the to say the least with the weight. Firepower 7th and Stacker and, C and uh, Seek 1 having a nice little scrap back here for 8th place. Obviously Seek 1 was doing very well earlier until they made a little mistake at these next corners. So down to these two Degners into the first section. Has he learned his lesson from last time? Yes. Does up runners wide, closes right up to the back of Stacker but can't find a way through and then runs wide on the way out. Gets a bit too overexcited there. And then we've got Neil Farm out there, so I'm trying to see if there's any other battles on track at the minute. Task one's been pressured by TY here. Into Spoon Curve we go. This is where the Subaru's quite good, but again, the BMW will close up on the exit of the corner. 
As we go through here, Tass one will get a good run, but so will T Y. And T Y is more importantly got the draft down the straight. Even though the Subaru has got a slight draft from the Scirocco, the BMW should pass the Subaru in a straight line. But I don't think he's close enough to make a move yet as we come towards 130R. He's going to close right up to the back, but he's not going to be able to make a way through. He might have a try at the chicane, but remember the Subaru's very good on the brakes into the chicane. Into the chicane we go, and yes, I'm right. The Subaru into the corner right ahead of TY. But TY gets a good run out the corner, actually. Down the hill. He's going to get in the draft of Task 1 here. He's going to go to the right. Task 1 tries to go to the right to cover off, but no way through. 206 for Bidster. 207 for Task. 206.6 for TY. Brilliant lap there from TY. He's up the inside, side by side through this first curve, and TY gets the place done. So TY gets the move done into second place. Task 1 down to third, but not without a good fight. Callum in fourth. He's, got, he's ahead of Rodders now, so Rodders down to fifth. Neil Farmer in sixth place followed by Firepower, then we've got Stacker in 8th, Seek 1 and, and Nick Hash are very close at the back as well, so, Nick, so Seek 1 going progressively backwards in this race, Nick Hash wanted to get some more places, so he's right behind Seek 1 now as we come up the hill, so down this little bit and then we go up through this long rise of this left hander, up the hill we go, up towards the Degners where he lost it last time. Meanwhile, there's T.Y. In the special event livery that he didn't get to run. The team player, Jägermeister car. The double zero of T.Y. Task 1 is third behind him. And let's see here if T.Y. can catch Bidster. T.Y. has got some good pace in this one. There's Rodders trying to keep with Callum. Neil Farmack on his own, so is Firepower. And then we've got Stacker being caught slightly by seat one but he's bringing Nick Hash with him so again all these battles that could develop in these next few laps we've got to keep an eye out for this and over the rise towards spoon curve Nick Hash closes in 2 minute 10.6 last time round 2 minute 12.8 for seat last time round and Stacker must have made a mistake there he's gone backwards to 11.9 for Stacker last time so still a bit off the pace all them as we go up the hill towards 130R. Back to the leaders then. Let's have a look at the lap times this time round then. As bits are going to respond to TY, he can't. 207.2, 208 for TY. So TY makes a little mistake as well. So bits do a bit more room to breathe there. Task 208.9. Callum across the line then. 2 minute 10.8. So there he is, Callum in fourth place. Followed by Rodders in fifth. Remember Callum still running a bit of weight in this one, third place from last time. Rodders in fifth, Neil Farmack on his own in sixth, nice line through there. And here's Firepower being slowly caught by Stacker and then Nick Hash has gone. Yeah, Nick Hash is there behind seat one, so they're still all line astern. Seat one goes very wide there though, that could open the door for Nick Hash but no way through yet. If you look back up, let's have a look here at Rodders. Personal best sector of the race, personal best sector one of the race for Rodders, he's catching Callum here, so still trying to catch Callum, doing the best he can, meanwhile there's T.Y. and Task 1, still trying to catch Bidster up, T.Y. sliding that BMW into the hairpin there, and sliding it out even more, brilliant stuff here from T.Y., nice drive in as we look at the uh, others, further back heading into the Degners so we've got firepower being slowly caught by Ta Stacker and Stacker bringing the two Belgians behind him of seat one and Nick Hash so it's Subaru, Audi, BMW and Mazda as Stacker leaves the door more, more, more open than, uh, than he should into the hairpin but luckily manages to get a good run out of the corner to actually make the gap a bit bigger again as well so as Stacker now comes up behind Firepower. Again, not close enough to make a move. Nick Ash is definitely make it close enough to make a move, but he's not making a move yet. He's going to try and wait a few laps, see what happens. Meanwhile, at the front, Bidster's been closed in right up by, by T.Y. So Bidster must have made a mistake somewhere. We'll get a quick replay. So as we come back from that then, Bidster's still with T.Y. right behind him, and then we've got 
Callum there with Rodders, they're still close, and then we've got all this bunch here, Stacker, seat one. Firepower ahead of this bunch. All are battling for position. As we look up to the front then, this is a definite battle. Bits has got TY right on his tail now, right up his trumpet. As we go through the left, right, left, right section of the first sector. So the front wheel drive Scirocco under pressure from the rear wheel drive BMW. Both with no weight on. Both running the super soft tyre. This is down, oh, down to ultimate driver skill this. Can always count on with it being Bidster and T.Y. It's going to be a good battle into the Degners then. Bidster feels as though it's now the time to defend. Starting to move across to defend that line. So remember when you're racing, you don't just stick to the racing line. When you're actually racing someone, you have to adapt your line to the situation like there. Bidster will go to slightly more to the left than he needs to for that corner to defend the inside to make sure T.Y. hasn't got a gap for his car to go in. But obviously with defending, there is a compromise. Because you defend the inside, but you get a slower run out of the corner. Because you're that, because you're slower in. You're coming towards spoon curve. Biz are not defending as much into this one because Ty can't get close enough. A spoon just watching the cars there and looking at how they're bouncing around. Ty now closes up on Bidster as we got these lot back here still battling hard, but no positions changed just yet. Meanwhile, back to Bidster and Ty. Bidster defends the inside just to make sure Ty's not going to go for anything. And he doesn't. He backs off before the corner because it's, it's uh, Daft trying to go side by side through there because there's no point so just ending tears down towards the chicane and into the chicane we go Biz hops the kerb so does TY to a point as well Tass 1 trying to keep with these boys but goes off the track doing so down the straight then meanwhile back here we've got Stacker closing up on the Subaru of Firepower Audi versus Subaru is going to go off the inside into 130R the guy's mad but now he breaks out of it, leaves in the line, but also by doing that, he's compromised himself. Because he was too far on the inside and braked hard, lost a lot of speed, and seat one says thank you very much. And now C1 goes right round the outside of firepower. What a move! Right round the outside, stitch that sunshine. Have that. So fire so seat one showing the Subaru how to overtake round the outside. And now firepower battling back on the straight. So it's like the two cars are opposite. It's like all of a sudden we've got a four-wheel drive BMW and a rear-wheel drive Subaru. But down to the first corner, seat one takes the seventh place. Firepower has to stay back in eighth. And then Stacker in ninth, trying to get past Firepower now as well. Meanwhile, bids to still keep in T.Y. at bay for now on the penultimate lap of the race. Battles everywhere, brilliant to see. Up towards the hairpin, bids to defend the inside, not leaving a gap for T.Y. Then he'll come back across to onto his line a little bit to try and get a good, good run. As T.Y. hits the Jim Carner button and starts drifting that BMW out. So, really, really pushing hard here. It's really good to see both drivers pushing it to the limits here. As we look further back, speaking of pushing to the limit, Seat 1's back ahead of Firepower. As Firepower runs a bit wide there, but so does Seat 1. Oh. If Firepower runs wide, though, it's much easier to recover with the four-wheel drive, the rear-wheel drive. Once you go off the track, that is more or less it. You'll be doing your prayers and you'll be thinking if... Uh, if a uh, certain someone up there has mercy on you. Stacker gets a good run there on firepower, but can't find a way through. Let's have a look back to the leaders then, side by side. T.Y.'s on the inside towards 130R, must have got the overrun, in, and he has done. But he goes wide at 130R, Bidster up uh, on, around the outside then. On the outside, Bidster going side by side through the chicane, not phased, gets the inside for the way out. T.Y. still there, still battling, still got his nose in there. It's fully side by side around the last chicane, incredible stuff, and that's only something that T.Y. and Bidster could do. Because these two, when they get battling together, anything's possible. And Bidster gets head on the straight, now defending to the first corner, not leaving an inch. Or a millimetre, in fact, because they're that close. In towards turn one, T.Y. tries to go for the inside, but Bidster has it covered. Meanwhile, back here, Callum is still ahead of Rodders, then it's Neil. Seat one is ahead of firepower onto the straight, into the chicane. Firepower needs a good run out of here to keep with the BMW, and he does that. Stacker does the same as well. Wow, I don't know where to look in this race as Bidster comes round here now. Trying to go in across the first sector marker there, and he's still ahead of T.Y. to go up the hill for the last time. Bidster runs quite wide there. T.Y. will close up a bit, but there's not really a way through into the Degners unless you're absolutely as mad as a fish. 
but no way through there. Binster gets the lock on into the corner, defends the inside into the second Egner, not leaving it, not leaving it a sniff of a gap for Ty. In towards the hairpin, you'll see him move to the, to the left to defend the inside. There he goes, moves to the left to defend. Ty goes to the outside. He's going to try and nip through to the inside, get the power down. But he actually gets a good line out of there, Ty. Very good line. Tass one waiting in the wings. Meanwhile, these lot, they're still battling at it. Ta Stacker is in front of Firepower now. So Firepower muscled down to ninth place. With no gap to be seen anywhere. As Firepower runs wide there, Nick Hash takes the position. Firepower runs wide there. Not quite sure if there was contact or not, but now Nick Hash is attacking Stacker. So we'll just get a quick replay on that. Okay, here's a replay of uh, Firepower going off. And let's see if uh, Nick Hash did actually touch him. So coming into the first Egner then, so Nick Hash actually there was nowhere near him, Firepower just made his own mistake, went off the road and then Nick Hash goes straight through and then you see just we'll watch this aftermath here, Stacker runs wide and then Nick, Nick Hash can't find a way through, Firepower's on the inside here and then Nick Hash just comes straight across because he was in his blind spot, didn't even see him and then Firepower in 10th place. So as we come back from that then, Nick Hash been under, oh, Firepower trying to go for a gap that just was not there. And uh, no gap there, and Nick Hash still resumes ninth place. Meanwhile, the last lap then, down to 130, RTY's got to try something here. Bids to still defending his, his uh, backside off to TY here, but I think he's just done enough there. Bids to defend the inside into the, to the chicane to make sure there's no attack from TY. But TY gets a good run out the last corner. This is going to be a very close finish. Bids has got to keep it tight here, and it's just going to be Bids on the line from TY. What a finish, what a race. Brilliant finish there by them too, so it's bids to wins from TY. Tass one in third place. Fourth place is going to be Callum, and he's done all he can in this one to try and keep the gap as close as possible. And it's going to be a very and it's going to be uh, a lot a big fight for Callum in this last one. Bids to with the upper hand here. So Callum in fourth. Rodders now in fifth place. Well done to Rodders fifth. Neil Farmack in sixth place in the Audi. Then it's this lot. So Neil crossed the line in sixth. Then it's going to be seek one from Stacker and Nick Hash just about. It's just going to be that order. I'm going to have to get ready to pause it. It's just seek one from Stacker. Then it's Nick Hash. And then Firepower brings home the last one in 10th place. What a race that was. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now, guys. Okay, guys, here's the results from that one then. So Bidster takes the win from TY. Very close finish in the end, just under two tenths of a second, almost one tenth. Task one in third. Callum finishes fourth, which means that the championship goes to the last round of the championship. It'll be very close. Rodders in fifth. Sixth place for Neil. St uh, Seek one in seventh and Stacker in eighth position. Then it is Nick Hash in ninth and then Firepower finishes 10th, and unfortunately Techno had that glitch at the start. TY with the fastest lap, a 206.6. So, there's your winner, Bidster in the Scirocco. Good win there from Bidster, a very close second for TY. So we'll see you guys there next time for race three. Take care.